YouTube, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Aquaporn. Today we're gonna to bring you part two of the hardware installation for my outlet box. And in all actuality, this step in the hardware process for the outlet box has very little to do with the outlet box and more to do with the whole Arduino project itself. As you can see here, it's still quite a mess up top. And that's because I have to move this all the way over here so I can reach my computer with my ethernet cord but I will be installing two direct current step downs and the ports for the outlet box and those are all going to be on this side here we'll have the two DC step downs I'm going to step down to 5 volt and then I'm going to have another step down that will step it down to 12 and then the back here is where all the ports are going to be located the ethernet port uh, I'm going to put on my uh, pH probe um, BC connector as well, uh, the barrel jacks, and then other ports where I'm going to have to run down. And when I get the DC step downs in here, I won't need the computer to power this anymore. I'll be able to move all of this down in the center channel here just as planned and start cleaning up all these wires, get them twisted up and, and uh, tucked away. So it's a pretty exciting day here and we're going to get started and I'll take through you step by step on what I'm doing here. Now I need the DC step downs first off before we go any farther because the whole thing is being powered by this unit here. This power supply is 400 watts, it's 24 volt 16 amp. So what that's doing is that's powering my LED lighting, that's taking up roughly 9 amps of the 16, that leaves me with about 5 amps uh, that I can use to power other things which was has always been the plan so that with the DC step downs I'll be able to to run my dosing pump cooling fans uh, the relay board the the pH probe and uh, pretty much everything else that I will be connecting to this system so let's get going and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with the the DC step downs and the circuit boards I have to make my apologies my bench is becoming somewhat of a mess here as uh, I collect things for the project and been working on things I do put them away after I'm done at least as far as you guys know anyway I've already put together uh, the circuit for the step downs and how the step downs are gonna lay these proto boards I didn't mention or I I did mention but I cut out the part that these are uh, these perf boards are pretty cool because every hole is interconnected. Now you have to go through with a with a razor blade and you have to perforate or cut those connections on both sides. So the back side every connection had to be cut and then on the front side you just cut the connections that aren't going through your through your uh, your circuit. So that made it really easy and it's going to make it really easy to connect. You can make these, but I wanted to try this route because it seemed easier and it actually is a little bit easier. I don't have to deal with acid or anything like that. And I really don't mind because this is still all prototyping. If I get this all to work, I definitely will uh, go a little more, how do you say, professional or a little more... Uh, I guess the word I'm looking for is is professional or it's going to be a little bit more uh, solid like these all these connections and stuff are really definitely homemade looking but I can order uh, boards and, and circuits online where they'll do that for me and they'll send it but essentially the step downs these are the DC step downs one's going to be 5 volt the other will be 12 they'll sit on this board like this and then I'm cutting cutting these uh, male headers into two bits and they'll run down here so I'll have about five connections that I can use for 12 volt and about five connections that I can use for uh, 5 volt so I'll put it together and then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done okay so I finished this the uh, step downs here uh, I don't know which is going to be which yet but one will be a 5 volt the other a 12 I have them mounted on this perf board and then I've got these jumpers here. I've got five on each side, five here and five here. Um, and then that way I can just use jumper wires to jump them to wherever I need power. 
Now five on each side, is that overkill? Absolutely. Uh, but I figured too many, it'd be better than not enough. And uh, I don't know where I need to run power yet because I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So this is this is the step down. Came out well. Everything's connected right. I tested continuity and we're good. And then here is the hub for the Ethernet port. Same as the one that's in the outlet box itself. Got the barrel jack for the power and uh, and a two pin header here for that. And then the Ethernet port for, with the uh, eight pin header. I'll use uh, jumper wires to jump this to the Arduino and this to, to the DC step down to the 5 volt side and that'll power the relay board and then I'll just use an Ethernet cable between the hood where this will be and the outlet box which will be below the sump so so far so good I also on this board here left plenty of room this only takes up this little corner up in here so I left plenty of room in this area and then this whole side of the board because I'm gonna have to add my BNC connector for uh, my pH probe as well as it comes with a little circuit board that I'm going to have to mount in here as well and then a two pin header to jump it to the TXRX on the Arduino plus a power for it so the whole pH system or the pH circuitry will be contained on here as well which doesn't leave me much room for other ports but there should be enough room in the hood to add like another board similar to this one or at least half a board if I need to do other ports for the uh, dosing pumps and stuff but that's way down the line yet um, way way down the line don't even have uh, plans for that or or anything yet I just want to get this part of the hardware done and then I can get the software side done for everything I have hooked up okay so I got my DC step downs uh, plugged in and working. Um, I didn't don't think I've mentioned this. You do want to twist your wires when you can That will reduce electronic noise and you won't interfere with the signal But I did have tragedy strike. I have two DC to DC step downs here uh, One was going to be for 12 volt and one was going to be for 5 volt now the 5 volts going to run my relay board over here as you can see I have power woohoo power there um, and the other was gonna be a 12 volt to run uh, fans the Arduino and everything else and then tragedy struck this damn screwdriver I had it hooked up I had power to both everything's going great I didn't blow anything up and I they have these turn screws on the blue here those are turn screws that'll adjust your voltage for you so I take the screw I couldn't find my normal screwdriver so I took this one and I put this head in it and just as I'm tilting it over the head falls out right onto the step down and poof, a little bit of an explosion so it sucks because I lost one this one is completely dead and I have no idea how to fix it I'm gonna take it off and and see if I just have to replace a resistor or something but I only have the one so now I can't finish the mounting and that kind of sucks because I wanted to get the Arduino powered so I can get all these wires and everything and now I, I have to wait either for a new one or fix this one but on the bright side of things everything's connected everything's working swimmingly so the power this is the step down comes from here comes from my 20 volt 4 volt power supply into the step down then this step down steps it down to the 5 volts I got all my little uh, two headers in there to adapt it that jumps over to where this port's going to be in the hood so it can go down below the barrel jack brings the power to here to this barrel jack so it's a barrel jack uh, boom boom and that's what's power in the relay board then this header these eight pins go, go uh, from the Arduino to here and then through the Ethernet cable to the board here and that'll control each one of these relays so that's it for the hardware pretty much I really wish I could have wrapped it up 
and got it put in but it's working so now it's on to the software so this part three is going to be software everybody stay tuned uh, this build is is still pretty fun even though you run into crap like that that really bothers me because I was so excited everything was going according to plan you know it was taking a long time but I know I was double checking everything and I was being so careful and then something like that happens that really just sucks balls anyway stay tuned for part three software have a good one everybody thanks for watching